Tyler again. Um, told you part two of my Packer 53-man roster prediction was coming, and here it is. So, um, yeah, yesterday I went over the offense, so today I'm going to go over the defense and the special teams. Um, I just want to point out right away that there are two players that are going to be serving a four-game suspension to start the year who I both think are going to make the roster. Um, Mike Pennell or Pennell on the defensive line. He's a big guy. I think he's talented enough to make the roster. Um, and then Dimitri Goodson, a cornerback who has really been on the just verge of making these rosters each year. I think with this year's cornerback class, he has just enough to still make the roster, but he's going to miss those first four games. So I do have two extra players added onto the roster who I think are going to make the first four weeks and then get sent down to the practice squad or, you know, just released when Pennell and Goodson come back. And I'll tell you who those guys are when I get to them. But first I'm going to start with the defensive line. Um, I have them keeping four defensive tackles and two defensive ends. One of them is going to be playing a little bit of outside linebacker, but the Four tackles are Mike Daniels, obviously, um, Latroy Guyon, who's really had a career kind of resurrection in Green Bay. I've, besides the hiccup with the arrest a few years ago, he's been a pretty solid player. Um, draft pick Kenny Clark out of UCLA, the first rounder. Um, and then Christian Ringo, a guy who is his second year. I think he's shown enough. Say hi, Shay. He's shown enough to. Um, make the roster and you know help out with that bit of a missing link there with Pennell being gone for the first four games and then defensive end I have Dean Lowry he's one of the draft picks this year um haven't really seen a lot of them not sure what to expect but I've heard a lot of good things about him and then the other defensive end is Dayton Jones and like I said he's lost the weight to play outside linebacker so as of right now, I'm still listing him as a defensive end, and I guess we'll see what happens with him. But after that, I'm going to move on to um, the linebacking core, and I'm going to start with my outside linebackers. And Sorry, I got my list over here. That's why I keep looking. But I have them keeping one, two, three, four, five, six outside linebackers. Um, Clay Matthews, Julius Peppers being, of course, the two, you know, the veterans, the obvious guys. Nick Perry who, if he can stay healthy, I think is a really talented player. Injury's been his biggest thing over the years, though. Um, another draft pick, Kyle Fackrell. Um, I believe he is from Utah State, if I remember correctly. Heard a lot of good things about him, too. With the preseason not starting yet, I haven't seen too much, but I hope for good things from him. Uh, J. Rowan Elliott, a guy, the sack master, as everybody calls him. Uh, talented, talented player. Um... I hope to see him keep progressing as a player and uh, keep getting after the quarterback. And then this is one of those guys I have um, taking the play, or, you know, one of the extra roster spots for Mike Pinnell or Goodson. Um, Laurente McCray is his name. He's uh, been around the league a little bit. He's been in Denver and never really latched on anywhere, but he's a really good special teams player and watching him in practice the other night he has really good burst um, off the ball and I think with the special teams that'll be enough to get him a roster spot for those first four weeks until one of those other guys gets back um, inside linebacker I have four guys um, Sam Barrington and Jake Ryan are gonna be your starters uh, Kind of, it was a up and down debate with Jake Ryan last year if people liked him or didn't like him. I enjoyed him. Um, I thought he was a really good player, but he can't stop the passing game worth a crap. And um, hopefully that's what the third guy, Blake Martinez, who the Packers drafted out of Stanford, hopefully he can uh, get out there and cover the pass game a little bit better. Jake Ryan, a great run stuffer, but just couldn't do the pass. And, um,. So yeah, there's three of them, and then the fourth is Joe Thomas. He's been around the Packers a little bit here, back and forth for a while. He had a good year last year. I, I'm higher on him than a lot of people are. I thought he did really good in the past game. Shay, Shay, Shay. Um, he, yeah, like I said, Joe Thomas, I thought he did a great job in the past game. Not so good in the run, so I think when Ryan's out, he's in. Um, I think he gets the fourth uh, inside linebacker spot. 
So that means a guy like Carl Bradford, who drafted out of Arizona State a couple of years ago, just never quite lived up to his potential. Um, I think he's the odd man out here. He gets released and um, see where he goes from here. From linebackers, I'm going to go to the cornerbacks. Um, Sam Shields, how many do I have? I'm keeping for some, one, two, three, five cornerbacks. Um, Sam Shields, Demarius Randall, and Quentin Rollins. They were obviously the um, the three guys. Rollins and Randall were rookies last year who really surpassed a lot of people's expectations of them. And um, Shields, the veteran. <sighs> Get down, Shay. That's being a problem. Um, and then the other two, Ladarius Gunter. He's a guy that not a lot of people know of, undrafted out of Miami. A lot like Sam Shields. Um, can really play the ball well. He's a ball hawk of a, cor a cornerback. Hope to see him do big things this year. Then the other corner I took, just kind of a flyer. I don't know anything about him really, but it, I figure the Packers might hang on to another corner until Goodson gets back, and that is um, Robertson Daniel. Like I said, don't know a lot about him. Just had to toss a name on the list, and he was the most appealing to me. So, yeah, that's him until Goodson gets back and takes a uh, roster spot. Safeties, I have the Packers keeping four. Four safeties. Um, Morgan Burnett, he's in a contract year this year. so, And don't be surprised to see Morgan Burnett play a little bit of linebacker, too, kind of like Dayon Buchanan from Arizona. That's what I um, have been reading from Packer reports and all of those things. Um, ha Ha Clinton Dix, fan favorite, favorite of mine. Um, Hard-hitting safety. He's a really intense football player. Everybody loves him. Micah Hyde, the cornerback safety, kind of do-everything kind of guy. Um, he's going to be a safety this year. I believe he's in a contract year, too, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. Um, in the fourth, it comes down to a battle between Chris Banjo, who's been around for a few years, and Kentrell Bryce, a rookie. Um, Chris Banjo, good special teams player. You know, what he, you know what he does. That's Chris Banjo. He does what he does. He does it well. But um, I'm actually going to say Kentrell Bryce beats him out, younger, you know, decent special teams player. I'm going to say he takes the um, four safety spot and Chris Banjo is looking for work somewhere else. So um, that puts me at, I, I got my three special teams guys and that's it. Um, long snapper Rick Lovato, he's replacing Brett Good, who has been with the Packers for years, but he blew out a knee last year and... Um, so yeah, Lovato steps in and he gets the job. Mason Crosby's kicking. Had a down year a couple years ago, but he's bounced back really well. And it's Mason. Um, and the punter. Packers have a rookie punter in camp this year, Peter Mortel, um, a local guy. Punted at Minnesota. Been born in Wisconsin, I believe. Um, against Tim Massey. I'm, I'm going to say it now, not a big fan of Massey. Punters can't... A lot of people say punters really don't affect a football game, but I believe that Massa has affected a lot of different situations for the Packers. Um, but based off of what I've seen Mortel doing, he doesn't seem to be doing any better, and Massa, I think, just ekes out another year with the Packers and uh, takes his punting job. So yeah, that is my uh, full 53-man roster, offense, defense, special teams. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you're watching it, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. I like to hear comparisons on what you guys think. If you think I'm wrong somewhere, let me know. Um, but yeah, other than that, you guys have a good day, night, whenever it is. My next video will probably be a preview of the first uh, preseason game coming up. It's probably going to be short because there isn't a lot to say. But that'll probably be the next one you see me in. So, yep. All right.